Hi, I'm Brett from Brooklyn Craft Company, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use fusible quilt batting. Okay, so I'm going to talk about using fusible quilt batting. I love fusible quilt batting because it eliminates the need for any kind of basting or pinning or spray adhesive or any of those other things used in basting quilts. And I think it's fantastic. We sell these on our website, brooklyncraftcompany.com, and they also come with our black and white super easy quilt kit. So here's how you set it up. You've got, I've got my little mini quilt here all laid out on the ironing board. This would be my backing. This is the batting and this is the top. So in reality, this would be your quilt top that is probably patchwork, but this is my little sample here. And all you do is lay out your three layers and then just start ironing. This is an iron just set on regular high heat and we're literally just ironing it and there's an adhesive on the fusible batting product that's gonna be activated by the iron. And whenever you're ironing any kind of fusible product, it's not about um, moving the iron all over like you're ironing a shirt and you need to kind of like zip back and forth with your iron. It's more about holding it in one spot for as long as you need for the adhesive to adhere. And sometimes you can kind of see right away that the, that the adhesive took hold. Um, so sometimes you can sort of get a sense for how long you need to stay in each spot. Five to 10 seconds is usually a pretty good bet. Now the tricky thing about um, ironing a whole quilt is, you know, a real full size quilt is just a big piece, it's a lot more unwieldy than this little sample. So I actually really like to try to work flat on a tabletop or on a floor, uh, maybe lay down a blanket to help uh, protect your tabletop or your floor, and then you can just keep the whole quilt all laid out and it's much easier to work with. And then I like to flip it and just iron it again from the other side just as a precaution. Sometimes you can tell that it doesn't need it and other times you can tell that it does. So you can just sort of go on a case by case basis. And that's it, I'm done, it's fused. You can now see that the layers are all fused together. It's fully basted. Now for a full quilt, I usually recommend putting some safety pins in, not a lot, maybe like one for every square foot. Just as an extra precaution, sometimes once you start working with this, this is a really light temporary adhesive, so sometimes it'll start to kind of um, give away on you. So a few safety pins as a precaution, otherwise you're ready to quilt.